The slider shot, a great way to get a nice smooth pan across your subject that fits in in almost any different type of shooting situation. However, in this case, I'm using something that, well, perhaps doesn't look like much of a slider at all, being this. So specifically, this is the Edelkrone wing, and believe it or not, yes, this is technically a slider. But of course, this looks a little different than your average slider, but in many cases will function the same. And so I wanna talk about some of the pros and cons as to why this unit has made its way into my kit, and why you might wanna consider picking one of these up or not, depending on what you're looking for out of a slider. So let's discuss size. The Wing Pro is an extremely compact slider at just 6.9 inches long, which means that in terms of packing this in your bag or even permanently affixing it to your tripod or other type of stabilization device, it's not going to take up too much room and not nearly the amount of room that a regular slider would. However, this slider does have a 1.3 foot range, which will match the distance that other smaller sliders can travel as well in a similar class. So you're going to get a decent range of motion out of this, even despite its small size and footprint. Now let's talk about another pro, which is weight. The wing weighs in at around 3 pounds, while the wing pro weighs in at around 4.4 pounds. So while it has enough weight to it to keep it steady when you're actually doing your slider movements, it's not going to considerably add up to the total payload that has to go on your tripod. Now speaking of weight, we should also talk about weight capacity. Now the wing can support technically up to 15 pounds of a payload, while the wing pro can technically support up to 48 pounds. I can certainly say that with regard to my Sony mirrorless cameras, the wing has never posed any issue in terms of handling that load capacity with pretty much any of my lenses that I've tried it on, including larger 24 to 70 and 70 to 200 zooms. Now I can say anecdotally that I do know a couple of folks that had camera rigs that were a little bit less than 15 pounds, but still ended up upgrading to the Wing Pro just to be able to accommodate their setups. So I would say this is a bit of a liberal weight estimate that you might want to consider depending on the types of camera packages that you use. Now when we're talking pros, we also have to just talk about the design of the Wing. This is a really sleek unit that is super simple to operate, and I can certainly appreciate the design and engineering that went into this unit overall from Edelkrone. Now overall what you really have is a quarter 20 or 3 eighths adaptable thread on the top that you can adapt your camera or your tripod to. On the bottom you have a 3 eighths receiving thread that you can easily use to again attach this say to the base of your tripod or monopod or a similar stabilization technique. And overall a tension knob that you can loosen if you want to have a looser kind of freer range for the wing. And then of course in the other direction tighten as well just to be able to get kind of a more locked in slower moving pan as you're moving across the slider. Once you're done, you can lock this into place to make sure that this unit doesn't move as you're transporting it. So this is a really intuitive unit to use. It doesn't take much thought or effort to do slider movements with it, but at the same time, it's just designed really well and constructed to last. So I think there's a lot of pros to the wing, and a lot of that explains why this has kind of become the main slider when I'm doing different run and gun gigs, but no product is perfect, and so I want to talk about a few cons you might want to consider with the wing if you're looking at this or potentially other sliders to pick up. So one con I would say is stability. Is this a slider that will give you as smooth and steady a shot as you would get with a typical track based slider? No. There are certainly some trade-offs with the wing that you're gonna have to consider in having this smaller footprint and body. And generally you will need to ensure that the legs of whatever you're using to stabilize this, such as a tripod, are firmly planted as you're moving this across or else you might experience some bumps or jumps as you're moving the slider. I found this not to be a huge issue. And in fact, if you apply a little bit of stabilization in post, there's almost zero issues in any scenario that you use it. But it is something to consider in that this smaller footprint doesn't give you quite as stable a sliding motion as you would get with the typical slider. Now one other con I'm going to mention about the wing is that if you're picking up one of the legacy models, it is known that some of these older models tended to have a bit of a fluid that would leak out of the system that would actually be doing the sliding and the panning motion. I haven't really had too much of an issue with this, but I was given a warning off of the person I bought this one off of, since this is a used model. And I would say if you're not getting one of the latest and greatest ones and shopping on the used market, that is something you're going to want to consider. Mainly when you're transporting this, you might want to keep this in a small bag or something and not just let it roll about freely with all of your other different tripods and other stabilization accessories. Now I don't really have too many other cons to talk about with the wing, but we do have to talk about price. Simply put, this is a really pricey slider for what it is. It's a great, well-designed unit. It gets you a lot for what you get out of its small footprint. So cost is something you're definitely going to want to consider with this, whether this is actually worth the investment for you, or if you're picking up a used model, you're aware of the previous con that I mentioned. So with all that said, what are my thoughts generally on the wing? I think this is a really good slider 
slider that has gotten me a ton of great shots and is perfect in the type of run and gun, quick second and first shooting scenarios I'll use this with for shooting different events and all the other types of gigs I often do. That said, I don't think this completely replaces a true conventional slider, and if you are really going for that look and you have the time to set that up and to transport it, you will probably prefer using that if you can. But perhaps you can't. And there's a number of situations that it just becomes difficult and cumbersome to lug around a full-size slider with you and even have the time to attempt to set that up and stage your shot perfectly. And for that, something like the wing is actually the perfect little companion to being able to get a slider shot without necessarily having to bring a true slider with you. So really, those are my thoughts on the Edelkrone wing. Hopefully this little pros and cons comparison has been of some help to you. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if it has. I'm definitely planning on doing more gear reviews on items like the wing in the near future. That is all I have to say. So thanks for watching.